Hello everybody, in this video I will show you how to create a Java frame using the frame builder of NetBeans. So let's create a new project and let's create this project with int. Then let's click on next. Here I will call this project Java project. And I don't like to create the main class, so I will not create this main class. Then I will click on finish. So the project has been created, but it is empty. So let's add a new frame. So I will just click on this button. Then here I will select Swing GUI Forms. Then I will select GFrame Form. Then let's click on Next. Here I will call this frame Main Frame. Then I will click on Finish. So this is the frame and I can increase the width and the height. Also uh, in this zone I have the different components that I can add to this frame and here I have the different properties of the components that I can add. So I can also click on this button to view the frame without building my Java class. So let's click on this and as you can see this is the appearance of the frame so let's close this and here let's complete this uh, frame with some components and some details so first of all i will set the title so if i click on this you will see that i don't have a title for the moment so if i select this i can go to the properties and i can provide a value for the title so let's call it welcome so if I click on this button again, the frame will appear and it has the title that I provided. Now let's add some components. So I will add a label. So I will increase the width of this label. And for this label, I want the text to be first name. So I have to find the text property and I can modify it. Also, I will add a new uh, gtext field, so I select the text field, then I put it at the good location. Now, for this text field, I want it to be empty, so I will remove the value of text. And also, I want to modify the name of this variable, so I have to go to code, and for the variable name, I want it to be tf for text field, then first name. Let's hit enter and now let's go back to the list of components and let's add a new level. So for this level I want to modify the text and to set sec uh, last name. Now let's add another component, let's add a text field. I want it to be empty so I will remove this value and I want to modify the name of the variable so I will call it tf last name. Now let's add another label and I will put it here. So for this level, I want it to be empty because I will modify the text from the Java code. And for the variable name, I will call it lb for level welcome. Now let's add two buttons at the end of this frame. So for the first button, I want to set the text OK. And I want to call the variable as btn OK. 
I will do the same thing with the second button so for the text it should be clear and for the variable name it should be btn clear so let's take a look on the appearance of this window so I will click on this button so this is the appearance of the window now let's take a look on the source so if I scroll down I see that the different components has been declared as global variables which is not what I want so only the, these two text fields and this label should be global variables for the other variables I want them to be local so I will go back to the designer and here I will select the first level and in the code I will select use local variable I will do the same thing with the second level it should be a local variable and also for the two buttons they should be local variables now let's take a look on the source and this time all uh, the global variables are the required variables so only these variables are declared as global variables now let's go back to the designer and I want to add a listener for these two buttons so I will make a double click on these two buttons so let's start with the OK button so when the user clicks on the OK button I want to read the text of the two text fields and to set the text into the LB welcome so let's do this Now let's do the same thing with the second button so I will add a listener so I go to the designer then let's click twice on this button and in this function I will make all the fields and the uh, label empty so let's do this now let's save this file and let's run it so this is the obtained window it does not have the windows uh, look and feel because the look and feel has been modified by the source code so let's modify the look and feel so to do this we have to go to main and here we have this code that I will open and here instead of using the Nimbus look and feel I will use windows look and feel so let's save this and let's run this class again so this time this window has the look and feel of windows so let's provide the first name so let's call it uh, bill and for the last name it will be gates now let's click on ok and we obtain the text here and if i click on clear the text will disappear from the different fields now if I click on this close button the application will be stopped as you can see so let's click on close and the application has been stopped so this is all for this video I hope it is useful for you please subscribe to the channel